everyone. Welcome back to theCUBE, live in Las Vegas. Lisa Martin with Dave Nicholson. We are covering AWS reInvent 2021. This is probably one of the most important and largest hybrid tech events this year with AWS and its enormous ecosystem of partners. We're going to be talking with 100 guests in the next couple of days. We started a couple of days ago and about really the, the innovation that's going to be going on in the cloud and tech in the next decade. We're pleased to welcome Rick Tam Daniels as our next guest, VP of Strategic Ecosystems at Informatica. Rick, welcome to the program. Great, thank you for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be back. Isn't it nice to be back in person? Oh, it's amazing. It's All these fantastic. conversations you just can't replicate by video conferencing. A absolutely, great to reconnect with folks I haven't seen in a few years as well. Absolutely, that's been the sentiment, I think one of the, the, one of the sentiments that we've heard the last three days. So one of the things thematically that we've also been hearing about in in between all of the, the plethora of AWS announcements, typical reInvent, is that every company has to become a data company. Public sector, private sector, small business, large business. Talk to us about how Informatica and AWS are helping companies become data companies so that they don't get left behind. But one of the biggest things that we're hearing at reInvent is that customers are really concerned with data fragmentation, data silos, access to trusted data, and how do, they, how do they get that information to really affect data-led transformation. Uh, and in fact, we did a survey earlier in the year of chief, da chief data officers where found that up to 80, almost 80% 80 of organizations had 50% or more of their data in hybrid or multi-cloud environments. And also 79% uh, are looking to leverage more than 100 data sources. And 30% are looking to leverage more than 1,000 data sources. So Informatica, we, with our intelligent data management cloud, we're really focused on enabling customers to bring together their data assets, no matter where they live, what format they're in, on-premise cloud, multi-cloud, bringing that all together. But we still have this massive scatter, 22 months ago now, right, of everyone just poof, and the edge exploded, and data exploded, and volumes and, and data sources exploded. Hard for organizations to get their head around that, to go, all right, the, the data is going to be living in all these different places. You talked about a lot of customers in every industry being hybrid multi-cloud based on strategy, based on acquisition. But to get their arms around that data and to be able to actually extract value from it fast is going to be the difference between those businesses that succeed and those that don't. Absolutely, and our partnership with AWS, it's a long-standing partnership, and we're very much focused on addressing the challenges you're talking about. Uh, and in fact, earlier this year, we announced our cloud first, our cloud native uh, data governance and data catalog on AWS, which was really focused on creating that central point of trusted data access and visibility for the organization. Uh, and just today, we had an announcement about how we're bringing data democratization and really accelerating data democratization for AWS Lake Formation. What is, when you, when you, we talk about data democratization often, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to Informatica? How do you deliver that to customers so that they can really be able to extract as much value as they can? Yeah, so uh, it's a great question. And, and really that whole data management journey is a big piece of this. So it starts with you know, data discovery. How do I even begin to find my data assets? How do I get them from where they are to where they need to go in the cloud? How do I make sure they're clean, they're ready to use? I trust them, I understand where they came from. And so the solution that we announced today is, is really focused on how do we provide uh, business users with a self-service way of getting access to data lake data, sitting in Amazon S3 with lake formation governance, but doing it in a way that doesn't create an undue burden on those business users around data compliance and data policies. And so what we've done is we brought our business user friendly, self-service experience, an Axon data marketplace, together with AWS Lake Formation. So Informatica has had a long history in the data world. Um, I think of terms like MDM and ETL. Yes. <laughs> where, does, where does Informatica's history dovetail with the present day in terms of cloud? The con does the concept of extract, translate, load, I think that's what ETL stood for. Oh, too many TLAs running transform, around. Yeah. Transform, yeah. Tra transform. <laughs> yes. uh, where, where does that play in today's world? Are you focused separately on cloud from on-premises data center, or do, you, or do you link the two? Yeah, so we focus on uh, addressing data management uh, no matter where the data lives. So on-premise, cloud, multi-cloud, uh, and our intelligent data management cloud platform is, a, is the industry's first end-to-end -end 
cloud native as a service data management platform that delivers all those capabilities I mentioned before uh, to customers. So we can manage all those workloads that are distributed from a single cloud-based as a service data management platform. So the platform is, is as a service in the cloud, but you could be managing data assets that are in traditional on-premises data centers the like. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So congratulations on the IPO. Of course, we can't, we can't not talk to Informatica without <laughs> that. I imagine the momentum is probably pretty great right about now. When we think of AWS, I, when I think of AWS, I always think of momentum, we, I mean the, the volume of announcements. But also when I think about AWS, I think about their uh, absolute focus on the customer, that working backwards approach. From a partnership perspective, is there alignment there? I imagine, like I said, with the IPO, a lot of momentum right now, probably a lot of excitement. Are, is Informatica also as laser focused and customer obsessed as AWS is? Yeah, so um, first of all, thank you so much, the congratulations. Uh, so we had a very successful IPO last month. And in fact, uh, just yesterday, our CEO, Amit Walia, presented our Q3 results, uh, which showcased the continued growth of our subscription revenue, our cloud revenue, and in fact, our cloud revenue grew 44% year over year, which is really reflective of, of our big shift to being a cloud-first company, sure. and also the success of our intelligent data management cloud platform, right? And, and that platform, again, I mentioned, it's spanning all those aspects of data management, and we're delivering that for more than 5,000 customers globally. Uh, and just from an adoption perspective, we process about 23 trillion transactions a month for customers in our cloud platform. And that's doubling every six to 12 months. So it's an incredible amount of adoption. Some of the biggest enterprises in the, in, in the world, like Unilever, Sanofi, folks like that are, are using the, the cloud as their preferred data management uh, platform of choice in the cloud. Well, you know, of course, congratulations is in order for the IPO, but also really on what you just mentioned, the trajectory of where Informatica is going because Informatica wasn't born yesterday right. and uh, we shouldn't overlook the fact that there are challenges associated with moving from the world as it exists on premises for still 80% of IT spend at least, navigating that transition, going from private to public, getting the right kind of investment where people realize that cloud is a significant barrier to entry uh, for, for a lot of companies. I, I think it's, it's you, know, you have a lot of folks cheering for you yeah. as you navigate this transition. Well, one thing I do want to say is yes, we, we have been in the business of data for a long time, but we've also been in the business of cloud for yeah. quite a long time. So this, is, this is the 10th reInvent. This is also the 10 year anniversary of the Informatica AWS partnership, right? So we've been working in the cloud with AWS for, for that long, innovating all these different, different core services. So, um, and from that perspective, you know, I think we're, we're doing a, a tremendous amount of innovation together. You know, solutions like the one we talked about for Lake Formation, but we also uh, announced today a couple of key programs that we partnered with AWS around, around modernization and migration, right? So that's a big area of focus as well, is how do we help customers modernize and take advantage of all the great services that AWS offers. So that's how we announced our membership in what's called the Workload Migration Program, and also the Data-Led Migrations Program, which is part of the, the public sector focus at AWS as well. From a modernization perspective, that was talked a lot about by uh, Adam yesterday, and we've talked about it a lot today. And every organization needs to modernize, even some of those younger ones that you think, oh, aren't they already you know, fairly modern? But where, where are your customer conversations happening? Are, from a modernization perspective, has that elevated up the, the C stack that we've got to modernize our, our, our organization, get better handle of our data, be able to use it more, protect it, secure it, so that we can be competitive and deliver outstanding customer experiences? Yeah, well I think what happens is the pain points that the, the legacy infrastructure has from the business perspective really do elevate the conversation to the C-suite. They're looking at saying, hey, especially with the pandemic, right? we have to transform our business, we have to have data, we have to have trust in data, how do we do that? And we're not going to get there on rigid, on-premise infrastructure, we need to be in a cloud-native footprint. And so we've been focused on helping customers get to those cloud-native endpoints, but also to a truly cloud-native data management, we talked about earlier, can manage all those different workloads, right? From a single, that SaaS, serverless type experience. What have been some of the interesting conversations that you've had? Here again, we are in person, yep. fresh off the IPO, lots of announcements coming out, you guys made announcements today. What's been the sentiment from the, those customers and partners that you've talked with? 
Well, I'll give you guys actually a little sneak preview of another announcement we have coming tomorrow uh, with our friends at Databricks. So we, uh, we are announcing uh, data, data democratization solution with Databricks, accelerating some of the same, you know, addressing some of the same challenges we were talking about here, but in the Databricks and Lakehouse environment. Um, so, so, but around that, you know, I had a great conversation with some partners here, some of the global system integrators, and they're just so happy to see that, right? Because a lot of the infrastructure that's around data lakes or lake formation, it's pretty technical. It's for a technical audience. And, and Informatica has really been focused on how do we expand the base of users that are able to tap into data? And that's through no code experiences, right? It's through visual experiences, and we bring that tightly coupled together with the performance and the power and scale of, of platforms like Databricks and the AWS, you know, Redshift and S3. It's really transformative for customers. What are some of the things that here we are uh, wrapping up the 10th reInvent almost as of tomorrow? But also wrapping up the end of 2021, what are some of the things that, 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 that there's obviously a lot of momentum with Informatica right now, yep. that from a partnership perspective, anything, but you, you just gave us some breaking news, thank you, yes. we always love that. <laughs> what are some of the things that you're looking forward to in 2022 that you think are really going to help Informatica customers just be incredibly competitive and utilizing data in the cloud yep. on-prem to their maximum advantage? Well, I think as we go into the next year, Data complexity, data fragmentation, it's going to continue to grow. It's, it's, it's exploding out there. Uh, and one of the key components of our platform, of the IDMC platform, is we call Claire, which is the industry first, kind of metadata driven AI engine. And what we've done is we've taken the intelligence of machine learning and, and AI and brought that to the business of data management. And we truly believe that the way customers are going to tame that data, they're going to address those problems and continue to scale and keep up, is leveraging the power of AI in a cloud native, you know, cloud first data management platform. Excellent. Rick, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, congratulations on last month's Informatica IPO. Great, solid, strong, deep partnership with AWS. We thank you for your insights and best of luck next year. Awesome, thank you so much. Pleasure being here. Our pleasure to have you. For my co-host David Nicholson, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE, the global leader in live tech coverage.